Hello friends, welcome to our new video. All the images you see in this video have been generated using Adobe Firefly AI. In this video, I will teach you the secrets of creating mesmerizing images with Adobe Firefly AI. The important point here is that Adobe Firefly AI is now completely free and can generate images even better than Midjourney. Iman Global YouTube Channel To get started, we need to visit the Adobe website. We create an account on the provided address, which is free, and then proceed to log in. After this step, we can access various options of Adobe's artificial intelligence, Firefly. This is the official Firefly page, and you can review its insightful features. The capability we're seeking is text to image, and by clicking the generate button, we will enter it. Prompt number one. On this page, there is a text box at our disposal, and I paste my prompt into this section and click the Generate button. Images are created, and by clicking on one of them, we can view them in a larger size. At the top of each image, a download button is provided, allowing you to download your desired images for free. By clicking the refresh button, you can request Firefly to create newer forms of images with the same prompt. On the right hand side, there is a panel full of various options to control and shape the generated images. In the aspect ratio section, there is the ability to control the dimensions of the images. In the content type section, we have access to four different forms of visualization, which we will explore further. In the styles section, there are options categorized diversely to specify the genre, path, shape, and material of the images. In the color and tone section, as the name suggests, you can have control over the color and tone of the images. In the lighting section, I see several diverse lighting modes. In the composition section, various shapes are available for framing the images. You can use these options as desired to shape the images. Let's adjust some settings and see what impact they will have on the images. In the Styles section, under the Popular tab, I select the Digital Art option. In the Movements tab, I set the option to Science Fiction. Under the Themes tab, I choose the options Concept Art and 3D Art. In the Techniques tab, I set the option to Bold Lines. In the Effects tab, I activate the Bokeh Effect option. In the Concepts tab, I select the option Beautiful. Now, in the drop-down list for aspect ratio, I choose the widescreen option. Based on these settings, new images are generated. Let's review them. Next, I set the content type to graphic. I see the new images, but an important point to note here is that these images, with the graphic format compared to the previous art format, have only changed in terms of color and variations, while the overall shapes of the images remain entirely the same. So, pay attention to this detail. Now, in order to see entirely new images with the graphic format, I click on Refresh. The images generated this time are completely different from the previous set. Using the download option located above the images, you can download them for free. By making slight adjustments, Firefly has generated captivating images for me, which we will now see together in the continuation of this video. Prompt number two. Now I'm removing the previous prompt from the text box. Using the Clear Styles button, I'm resetting all previous settings. I paste the new prompt into the text box and click the Generate button. New images have been generated, so let's review them. The new images appear somewhat raw, and we need to give them some form and style. In the Styles section, under the Popular tab, I select the Digital Art option. In the Movements tab, I set the option to Science Fiction. Under the Themes tab, I choose the options Concept Art and 3D Art. In the Techniques tab, I set the option to Bold Lines. 
In the Effects tab, I activate the Bokeh Effect option. In the Materials tab, I set the option to Metal. In the Concepts tab, I select the option Beautiful. Now, I set the content type to Graphic. New images are generated, and they seem to have a good shape and form. If you've noticed, these images with the same prompt as before have improved in terms of style and form, while the overall shape of the images compared to the previous ones remains entirely the same. Now, in order to see entirely new images with the graphic format, I click on the refresh button. The new images have been created by Adobe Firefly. Let's review them. These images generated this time are completely different from the previous set. Now, I set the content type to photo. Let's review the new images with the photo format. In the drop-down list for color and tone, I select the warm tone option. In the drop-down list for lighting, I choose the dramatic lighting option. Now I set the content type to art. The previous images have been generated with a new style. Let's review them. Note that the previous images had a photo style, while the new images have an art style. In fact, these images have not undergone any significant changes in their overall shapes compared to the previous ones. Only the style, color, and appearance have slightly changed. Now, in order to see entirely new images with the art format, I click on the refresh button. New images have been generated, so let's review them. As you have noticed, these new images are entirely different from the previous ones and have been generated with the art format. By spending more time and making a few changes, I managed to enhance these images. Take a look. Prompt number three. We want to immerse ourselves in the world of computer games. Using the Clear Styles button, I clear all previous settings. Now I'm removing the previous prompt from the text box. I paste the new prompt, which is related to the game Counter-Strike, into the text box and click the Generate button. Images of the Counter-Strike game have been generated, so let's review them. Using the panel on the right side, I want to modify the visualization settings. In the Styles section, under the Popular tab, I select the Digital Art option. In the Movements tab, I set the option to Science Fiction. Under the Themes tab, I choose the options Concept Art and 3D Art. In the Techniques tab, I set the option to Bold Lines. In the Effects tab, I activate the Bokeh Effect option. In the Materials tab, I set the option to Metal. In the Concepts tab, I select the option Beautiful. In the drop-down list for color and tone, I select the warm tone option. In the drop-down list for lighting, I choose the studio lighting option. Now, I set the content type to graphic. New images have been generated with a new style, so let's review them. Since I didn't use the refresh button and only changed the styles, the new images based on the previous Counter-Strike images have seen an improvement in contrast. However, now by clicking on Refresh in Firefly, I want it to generate entirely new images. Completely new images have been generated. Let's review them. Now, I set the content type to Photo. The previous images have undergone some changes based on the photo style. Let's review them. But now, by clicking on Refresh in Firefly, I want it to generate entirely new images. New images have been generated. Let's review them. I made minor adjustments in the settings, and Firefly has generated new images for me, which we will see together in the continuation of this video. Prompt number four. Let's see how Firefly operates in generating car images. Using the clear styles button, I reset all previous settings. 
Now, I'm removing the previous prompt from the text box. I paste the new prompt, which is related to cars, into the text box and click the Generate button. Various car images have been generated. Let's review them. Using the panel on the right, I want to modify the image generation settings. In the Styles section, under the Popular tab, I select the Digital Art and Neon options. In the Movements tab, I set the option to Science Fiction. Under the Themes tab, I choose the options Concept Art and 3D Art. In the Techniques tab, I set the option to Bold Lines. In the Effects tab, I activate the Bokeh Effect option. In the Materials tab, I set the option to Metal. In the Concepts tab, I select the option Beautiful. In the drop-down list for color and tone, I select the Warm Tone option. In the drop-down list for lighting, I choose the Golden Hour option. Now, I set the content type to Graphic. New car images have been generated with a new style. Let's review them. Please note that in the previous images, the content type was set to None while the car images you see now have a content type of graphic. In fact, these new car images were not entirely generated anew. Only the type, style, color, and appearance have slightly changed. Now, in order to see entirely new car images with the graphic format, I click on Refresh. Now, new car images have been generated. Let's review them. Adobe Firefly has successfully generated car images. Based on my experience working with Firefly, I believe that setting the content type to photo would make the car images even more captivating. Now, I set the content type to photo. Again, please note that now the images from the previous step have only been transferred to the photo content type, shaping them accordingly, and new images have not been generated. Now, in order to see entirely new images with the photo format, I click on Generate. With trial and error and spending more time, Firefly has generated beautiful car images for me, which we will now see together. Do you think Firefly is a good alternative to Midjourney? If you're interested in this series of tutorials, please like and leave a comment. We have new tutorials coming, so be sure to subscribe to the channel. I'll see you in the next video. Iman Global YouTube Channel.